Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the No Vert of Nops Not Mod. <laughs> I just, it's too impossible to say. We're going to final mission, Xanthos. It's, uh, it's one tough cookie. But fortunately, it's only one cookie. And I can eat one cookie. So I have a little bit of a plan for this mission. First of all, we're going to get the marathon suit. Let's get some operative speed and armor going. You know what? Uh, we can go for some hologram projectors. Why not? Uh, lockdown seems like it could be very good on this mission. I want a gun that can hit ground and air. I want a little bit of anti-air seems like it'd be pretty good. Then I definitely want to try the little tiny zergling predators. Those sound very fun. What is this? This is the cheap, the cheap wraith. I don't think we're going to be using too many wraiths on this mission, unfortunately. The wraith is kind of a unit that you have to go a lot of. And uh, if we start with some, I guess I'll take the Yamato wraiths. Hercules new upgrade, one base, or ten base armor. <laughs> that is very chonky, but I also don't really see, I don't see it being super useful here. Uh, maybe we can grab this. We'll just see. And then I'm going to grab Hurricane Missile Pods. We have the Warhound. I don't think that this upgrade is what we want here. It's a little bit too much, you know? It just blows everything up. We're going to go for the very safe defensive Widowmine. And then let's go for the 10 times turret speed and see how things go. I uh, I want to see if we can make the predator work. I have a little bit of an idea for... Well, you can tell that I went a lot on the anti-air front very early. Oh, these widow mines do... <laughs> Look at how tiny the predator is. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Oh, they're going to die to AoE terribly. Oh, I feel like I've done something terrible already. Okay, I'm actually looking at no energy at the start here. Okay, we are going to have enough to fire our first volley of missiles. That is good. I was afraid that we were just going to die early on to the first attack or something. But no, we're going to be fine. But we do get hit pretty quickly in rapid succession in this mission. So we have to be prepared to deal with everything. It appears we have company. Okay, Tech Lab, Reactor. I do want to get a Hercules. One of the things that I thought of is that if we use the ability to cast outside, then operatives inside of a Hercules can deploy Psy emitters. And that sounds really cool. <laughs> I don't know if it's really good, but it does sound like an enjoyable adventure. And then I think for the early bits, we want Warhounds. Use our, <laughs> use our T-posing <laughs> aggressively <laughs> to stop the opponents. I mean, the T-posing is legit. Of course it's legit. What a great strategy. <laughs> we bring these guys over here and we try to do the same thing on the other side. Let's try to use some lockdowns on the vehicles that attack us. And see if we can disable lots of stuff, not take very much damage, try to live through everything. And I am not sacrificing any Gorgons. I'm sorry. It's just not what we do here. We're going to keep every Gorgon we can alive. We're getting a lot of autogas, which uh, today I do have autogas. <laughs> Alright, we're locking down. Uh, lockdown is uh, not something that works on Heroic, unfortunately. Bit of a shame. But we're going to be able to get ourselves over here. And why don't we move these two, like, right here. And we have to be able to fight this in just a moment. I want that. Uh, do we just, do we just drop this? Like, right here? Run, 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 run! Where the Zerg? Oh, they're up there, no! Uh, that's not good. Uh-oh. Um. Um. I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Drop these, see if they can help tank. You, oh no, they shot my guy that can build turrets. Oh, this is bad. Hey, it's tanking the flamethrowers at least. Uh, leave them alone. Yeah, we cannot target heroic units with lockdown. I had to make sure. Uh, fire your missiles! Oh my goodness, this is not great. 
You go over here. Let's grab an operative. We got the factories finishing up. Get him. Oh, he doesn't take very much damage. That's great. Oh, he takes a lot of damage. That's not good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Um, predators? <laughs> Are predators the savior? It should take a while for the Xanthos to... I see why they recommended that you wait, by the way. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely the right call. Let's, uh... Predit? Predate? Here, turn around and shoot me. Thank you. Micro! No! <laughs> no! We were doing so well! <laughs> Darn! <laughs> it was so close. We almost juked it. Okay, we're gonna unload everything. We're gonna start getting our predators. Uh, we need defenses. We got defenses. The Hyperion's gonna start its assault. We have a lot of money, which is good. We gotta get our add-ons. And we're gonna get some Warhounds. We're getting you guys. Armories are on the way. You get in. You get repaired. And we're going to be ready for the next one. That is the important bit, is that we're not going to get off caught off guard. It wasn't really off guard, it's just we had to have so much power so quickly, and we barely didn't manage to do it. I feel like I have so much money, and I know it's just because I have all these things that are waiting to build, but it just it feels, it feels so bad. There we go. Now we got big production going. And what I'm doing with these Warhounds is I'm going to put them in here, and I'm going to turn my Hercules into a missile boat. Because you know what's cool? Missile boats. They're like boats, but they have missiles. And I love that. So that's going to be my anti-air, is the Hercules with a million versions of that firing off. And I'm hoping that we can just do these huge initial volleys against the Xanthos that are really good. Let's see, we don't need this anymore, we don't need this anymore. Uh, one thing we should check up on in a moment is how well... Actually, let's put this here. We didn't work with Matt because, uh... We, we just gotta be ready for the Xanthos, honestly. Ooh, yeah, we got blasted right there. Thank you, Widow Mines, very cool. Warhound go, and I think we're going to be okay. We're going to have way too many minerals. We can get some Hercs for that, because I did want the instant turrets. If the Herc had survived and we were able to get a couple missile turrets out, that would have also been a complete and total game changer. So I guess uh, because this spawns in the middle, we're just going to put this over here, and they should... Oh, yeah. Go deal with that attack wave for me, game. No, no. Wait, I don't have it. Oh, I do have anti-air. You're my anti-air. That sure doesn't do much damage against armored. So they have a lot of anti-air, which means that their push isn't actually that good. Well, that's okay. Okay, we're going to leave you here for now, I guess. You're going to build some turrets to defend when we need that. We have a lot of predators. Oh, no! We're getting zerged. Okay, we got to go deal with, uh... Got to go deal with the real issue. Let's try this missile barrage. Get in here. Whoa, okay, I guess we're going this way. And we gotta get out of here. The micro-sized predators are having a macro-sized effect. Heck yeah, they all died. <laughs> and they're very expensive gas-wise. This is not sustainable. <laughs> 
<laughs> it turns out the predator is still the predator, unfortunately. Oh, that's a shame. I don't know how much damage this volley did. I think that I didn't do it well. There was a bunch of stuff going on, and uh, I can I can do better next time. I think it goes over here next, so we're going to have to get back clearing. And I think we might have to go into Warhound production. Because they actually cost a reasonable amount of gas. Sorry, game. No more Predators. I'm leading another charge Once we have extra gas geysers, because we have auto gas, right? Once we have the extra gas geysers, we can potentially do it. Let's do this, Hyperion. Me, you, Predators, Hercules, a couple Hercs, <laughs> why not? Lots of Warhounds coming online. Oh, I gotta take this down. I think that these Predators are gonna be pretty good at the actual clearing, though. Because the enemy isn't nearly as good. And, like, look at this. What is this garb? Oh, hello. We need another one. <laughs> we just need a little bit more. A little bit more missile, and then we're going to be able to one-shot battlecruisers. Unfortunately... Oh, I guess we can... Why is it on L? Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't click L. <laughs> does, does it let me rebind this? Hotkeys. Terran. Uh, Terran Story? No. <laughs> no. It's not an option. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is one of those things that's working behind the scenes with editor magic, and you can't expect editor magic to be perfect. There's only so much that people can do. Okay, we need to get another... Where's my starport? Is it dead? I think my starboard died. Rip. Probably staring right at it and someone's really upset. Okay. Um. Warhound, Warhound. I don't want to go only Warhound. It's just I also don't want to lose. Whoa. That's a lot. Good over here. Yeah, this is why we want to do this. The Xanthos is getting into position for an attack, Nova. Okay. Oh my gosh, L. Can't target that unit. Oh, because it's also bound to load! I just can't do the hotkey for it. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well... We need barracks. I'm sorry, but... We can't do this without barracks. We just gotta go mass Hercule- or er, Herx. No, no Yulees, just... Good old Herc. Make a lot of turrets. That's how we were how we were born to be. We're fine on this side. I think that's a fitting conclusion for this. Oh, uh, hello. Goodbye. Hey, it rhymed! Hello, goodbye, never say die! That's amazing! Oh, I'm so happy. That completely makes up for everything that has happened in this mission so far. Oh, man. How great was that? Okay, let's uh continue using the Psyometer. If I just put it here, do they spawn in- Oh, no! Hope to see you there. Uh-oh. Oh! Hey, they're going somewhere. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry, I am still like... Okay, so they oh, they do go to the Psy emitter, and then they go away after they have done their job. All right, let's get cracking. All right, we're getting our Hercules. We are getting lots and lots of Predators. And we're going to blast in with a million billion guys. Meanwhile, the Hyperion doing a pretty stellar job because the Zerg actually cleared stuff out really nicely before. 
Think they did some damage. To oh, he didn't fire it. So all you guys down here, everything else over here. I feel like I have so much production, and yet I have so few units. <laughs> That's okay. We're gonna get through this, me and you. Oh no! What a target's out of range. Okay, this is real funky to use. But we did technically use it. <laughs> there we go. Missile boat number two. Okay, we gotta... We gotta wait for... <laughs> for our charges. And then we're gonna go Hercules and Predator pushing with a couple Warhounds behind. And I actually think we'll do great. I mean, look at how many hooks we got. Oh gosh, they go over there. Execute a strike now. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. My scans show the Xanthos. Go, 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 go! Get ready to counter it. We gotta run! But we're kinda blasting. We're kinda blasting. Not like a lot of blasting, but kinda. Okay, pull these back. And let's see how much damage we do with the double volley. Okay, that does about half. Then we can run in with these guys. Yeah, okay. Remember that the guys inside the Hercules can still fight too. We just have to not be hit by the missile batteries. And that's done! Oh! Speaking of taking too much damage, we gotta be careful. Let's blast. This is the time. This is gonna go great. We didn't even need the turrets to be built. We got the fast turret upgrade and we're not making any use of it. There is a uh, couple ghosts and stuff around here though, so that'll be good. Ah! <laughs> it's very enjoyable to just fire missiles everywhere. It just feels right. My ship is returning to the front line. It took a little bit to figure out exactly how to do it, but it is definitely something that was worth doing. Let's keep moving this way. Keep getting these upgrades. Oh. oh what you doing, bud? Oh no, not Banshees. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna run out of missiles. Oh, we got him. Okay. Oh gosh, uh, missiles. Okay, we gotta go back for repairs. <laughs> go get him, Hyperion. Also, we gotta rebuild these guys, because they do die very quick. But it's happening. It's working. Just very slowly. Definitely gotta get these patched up first. Oh, look at how hard Matt Horner is working. I'm so proud of him. Fire that Yamato, Matt. Show me how in Yamato you are. You don't need attack and armor upgrades. All you need is your flagship rank. All right, Matt, uh, I give up. You tried your best. Do you get it? Oh, he got it. So the next one should be in the middle, and that'll be an easy, easy kill for us. I think what we can do is... Oh yeah, we can we can get some of these healing stations. Keep us patched up. Not super good on the aggressive part, but they work here. Oh, a little sensor tower tells us where the enemies are, too. This should be very good against the Xanthos. Valerian has no right to command his father's fleet. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to Oh, whoa! Oh, the Widow Mines! Ah! <laughs> well, I gotta repair everything now. That's okay, they did their best.
Oh, you think you're going to hit me with your missiles? I don't think so. Get out of there! Yeah, rotate backwards, you fool. These sure don't do good damage. <laughs> they're, they're trying. They're just very bad at what they do. Okay, um, what do we got? We need one more upgrade for armor, and then we're pretty much done in that regard. And we have almost got this mission. Clearing has been fantastic. Honestly, the attacking bit has been the easiest. The Xanthos has been way harder than anything else. Which I guess is fairly normal for this mission. But actually, it does feel harder than normal to uh, defend the Xanthos. It feels easier than normal to attack. Partially because we have a lot of durability, but we don't have as much damage as normal. None of those crazy stim, super stim marines. What we got here? Just a little bit of stuff. Go in. It's so overkill. <laughs> oh, if I had if I had the quick cast, it would be so crazy. Oh man. We have like instant build turrets too. Unfortunately, this is the only turret that we really want. So you fought your way here. Heck yeah, I did. You're a good soldier, Nova. Darn right. But so am I. Nova. The Xanthos is transforming. That should be fine. This combat mode was classified. Even from me. Here, let's have some Zerg in the party too. What you'll be facing. Just turn this into the most chaotic fight that's ever happened. I don't think the Zerg are gonna make it to the party. Oh, that didn't do very much. This way. That's a lot of battlecruisers. Uh, lockdown. There we go. Go get him. Oh. Missile turrets. <laughs> Who can get it? Get him! Yeah! <laughs> what a chaotic fight! That's how the Xanthos should be. Oh, yeah, go get him! Do -do, do -do -do, the mini predator comes to destroy you. Knock, knock. Oh, and we can cliff jump! No, oh, oh, we can't cliff jump up there. That's sad. Unfortunately, we don't have the uh, we don't have the one shot thing on, so we didn't get any okay bozo. I don't know if we get that here as well, but you know what? That was great. This is a really fun mod. I liked it quite a bit. It's great to see some Nova Covert Op stuff. Obviously, you can't do it all the time because this is the least owned campaign. It's also very short, which means that you can't experiment with all the different things. However, the uh, unit selection stuff was uh, adequately small here, which is good for this type of campaign. And I think it went really well. Very enjoyable overall. Uh, yeah, I liked it quite a bit. So that is going to be the end of this. Uh, it is not quite ready for public release. Uh, the mod maker wants to fix a few bugs and stuff that have been cropping up. However, if you want to be, uh, alerted for when things are ready, just make sure you're in the Giant Grand Games custom campaign, campaign discord, and you can set your alerts to get that, uh, announcement when it goes live. That is going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.